Hallelujah, hallelujah. What another beautiful blessed day today to always be in the presence of the Lord. Another day right now just to give him the thanks, just to give him the praise, and give him the glory right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We wouldn't be here right now today if it wasn't for Jesus. So my brothers, my sisters, we owe him thanks and praise and glory for that. It was his grace and his mercy while we are here right now today. Even though we don't deserve it, he still blessed us with his grace and his mercy, my brothers and my sisters. He gave us another chance today. He gave us another opportunity today. And even when we repent our sins today, he washed us clean today, my brothers and my sisters. He gave us a second chance today. He gave us the ability for us to gain wealth. And gain wealth don't mean money. He gave us another day and another opportunity to use and to use our faith and to walk by faith and not by sight. And for us to say, Jesus, no matter what we are going through, we are trusting you, God. We know for a fact that you will not disappoint us. We know for a fact that you will never leave us or forsake us. We know for a fact, Father God, that you will never leave us hanging. So I don't know about you today, my brothers. I don't know about you today, right now, today, my sisters. Each and every day that he gives me another chance and me another opportunity, I'm going to seek him. I'm going to thank him. I'm going to praise him. I'm going to worship him. I'm going to exalt his holy name for who he is and what he has done and what he is doing in our life right now, today. Father God, I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you. I want to say thank you for this beautiful and blessed opportunity today. I want to say thank you, Father God, that I was able to thank you today, able to praise you today. I was able to worship you today, God. I was able to exalt your holy name today, God. Father God, I'm nothing without you, Jesus. I can't make it without you, Jesus. I can't do it without you, Jesus. I can't think without you, Jesus. I can't eat without you, Jesus. I can't move without you, Jesus. I can't even operate, God, without you. I need you every day, every second, every minute, every hour of my life, Jesus. I need you. It doesn't matter how many people walk out of my life. I need you. It doesn't matter how many people are against me as long as you are for me, Jesus. That's all that matters to me. As long as you are clapping for me, as long as you are rooting for me, God, that's all I need, God. And I thank you for the day. I thank you for your words, Jesus. I thank you for your promises, Jesus. I thank you whatever it is that you put in my hand, God. I use it to my best ability, and I know that you're going to make a miracle out of it, God. And I thank you for that, Jesus. I thank you for the gift that you endow in every last one of your children, God. I thank you for your protection. I thank you for your shield. I thank you for the God. Because I can always call and count and depend on you, Jesus. I can always rely on you, Jesus. And I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you. I thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. I just want to say thank you, Jesus. I just want to say, Jesus, that you are my everything. I want to let you know, Jesus, that I'm in love with you. You are my rock. You are my foundation. You are my healer. You are my provider. You are my everything, Jesus. You are my shield. You are my everything. And I appreciate that you give me this chance and this opportunity right now today, Jesus, to lift your name up high. It doesn't matter if I got to do it by myself. My mouth big enough, God, and I'm going to thank you and praise your holy name. I'm going to exalt your holy name all around the world, all around the universe, so nation out of the nation going to hear your name, Father God. Because I'm going to thank you as long as I have breath. I'm going to praise you as long as I have breath. I'm going to exalt your holy name as long as I have breath. Amen? Amen. Praise is what I do. I say praise is what I, would, is what I do. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. And before I get started, I always like to take the time out. To give our Heavenly Father God all the thanks, all the praise, and all the glory. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. 
Oh, Heavenly Father, God, I just can't thank you enough for this awesome and beautiful blessed day today. I can't thank you enough for this word right now. I just can't thank you enough, Father God, for this anointing message, Father God. I just can't thank you enough, Father God, for the air that we're able to breathe, Father God. I can't thank you enough, Father God, for our help and our strength. I can't thank you enough, Jesus, for the food that you have blessed and prepared and put on our table. I just can't thank you enough, Father God, for the clothes and shoes that you have put on our back. I just can't thank you enough, Father God, for our energy. I just can't thank you enough, Father God, that we're able to seek in your kingdom today. I just can't thank you, no, Father God, that we was able to get on our knees and give you the thanks and give you the praise and give you the glory and exalt your holy name. I just can't thank you, no, Jesus, for our blessing. I can't thank you, no, Jesus, for our breakthrough. I can't thank you, no, Jesus, for our anointing. I just can't thank you, no, Jesus, how you providing. I just can't thank you, no, Jesus, how you making a way out of no way. I just can't thank you, no, Jesus, for your protection. I just can't thank you, no, Jesus, for your love. I just can't thank you, no, Jesus, for your for for our rock and our salvation. I I just can't thank enough, Father God, for the open doors. I can't thank enough, Jesus, for the door that you have closed. I can't thank enough, Jesus, for our double portion. I can't thank enough, Jesus, for our more than enough. I just can't thank enough, Jesus, for the rain that's coming our way. I can't thank enough, Jesus, for the Holy Spirit that is moving through us right now today. I can't thank enough, Jesus, for the angels that's in this house right now that is praising and worshiping us right now today. I just can't thank enough, Jesus, for your words and your promises. I just can't thank enough, Jesus, because you are a man not to lie. I just can't thank enough Jesus because I can always count on you. I can always depend on you. I can always rely on you. I just can't thank you enough Jesus. 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 I just can't thank you enough. That's why I praise you the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I glorify your holy name the way I do because I can't thank you enough. That's why I trust you the way I do, Jesus, because I can't thank you enough. I just 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 can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you enough. I'm always going to thank you. That's why I'm always going to praise you. That's why I'm always going to lift your name up out, Jesus. Because I can't thank you enough. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't for you. That's why I can't thank you enough, Father God. When I was out there in that world, Father God, in that dangerous world, it was you who was watching over me. It was you who was protecting me. And I can't thank you. I just 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 can't thank you enough, Jesus. Glory, hallelujah. I just can't thank you. I just can't thank you enough. I should have been gone a long time ago, Father God, but you had a plan for me. You was watching over me. You was protecting me. You was shielding me, Father God, through that wicked place I was in, God. Even in that dark place I was at, God, it was you who was protecting me. It was you who kept an eye on me. It was you, Jesus, and I can't thank you. I just can't thank you. I just can't thank you. I just can't thank you enough, Jesus. I just can't thank you enough. Hallelujah. My brothers and my sisters, can you please turn your Bibles to Psalm 78? And we're going to read verses 34 through 38. That's Psalms chapter 78, and we're going to read verses 34 through 38. And if you have your Bibles open, let the church say amen. Amen. Praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Whenever God slew them, they will seek him. They eagerly, eagerly turned to him again. They remembered that God was their rock. The God, the most high, was their redeemer. But then they were flattering him with their mouth, lying to him, lying to him with their tongues. Their hearts were, were not loyal to him. They were not faithful to his covenant. Yet he was merciful. He forgave their inquities and did not destroy them. Time after time, he restrained his anger and did not stir up his full wrath. He remembered that they were not but flesh, a passing breeze that does not return. A passing breeze that does not return. And we know what a breeze is. A breeze is something so smooth, swift that we that we feel. But when God said a breeze that does not return, he is saying, some people don't know what loyalty means. 
Do you know what loyalty means? Loyalty means when you are loyal to someone, that you are passionate about someone, that you have a strong feeling about someone, that you have a strong desire about someone, and everybody's not loyal to Jesus as they say they are. Some of you right now today, you don't know what loyalty means. If you can't be loyal, loyal to Jesus, there's no way that you can be loyal to a friend. If you can't be loyal to Jesus, there's no way that you can be loyal to your wife or your husband. If you are not loyal to Jesus, there's no way that you can be loyal to a job. Some of y'all been lying for so long, your lies have been coming to truth. Some of y'all think that Jesus don't understand you, like he don't know what's going on. You can't, you can't play him. He's not no PlayStation, my brothers. He's not no video game, my sisters. He's nobody that you go on a block that you want to hang out with and keep it with. He is God, our Heavenly Father God, our Redeemer, our Rock, our Salvation, our Refuge, our Protector, our Healer, our Provider. That's who He is. He is our God. And He knows who is faithful to Him and He knows who is loyal to Him. Point blank period. And God is telling me to tell you right now today that a lot of you right now today, you are not loyal to him. Your praise is not loyal. Your worship is not loyal. Your trust that you have in him is not loyal. The only time that you want to thank him, the only time that you want to praise and worship God is when you want something or you don't need of anything. And the moment that he give it to you, automatically your loyalty disappear. And you wonder why he don't come to you as fast. Because he already know who you are from the beginning. God is looking at people who's going to be loyal to him when they only see the blessing. God is looking at people who's going to be loyal to him in the storm, in the wilderness, in a dark place, when things are not going right, when it's not adding up, when in a dark and ugly place, when, they, when, when so many people and weapons are forming against them, but they still right there thanking him, or they still right there praising him, they still right there worshiping him. That is called loyalty to Jesus, when you can stand right there and thank him in the midst of your storm, that you can stand right there and thank him and praise him when things not adding up, when things not going your way, when everybody's getting their blessing and you stare right there and you stare and receive yours yet but you stare right there opening your heart to Jesus. You stare right there crying out to him. You stare right there telling Jesus I trust you anyway. That is loyal, loyalty because you have a strong desire for Jesus. You have a strong feeling for Jesus and your faith is for Jesus. Everybody don't have that kind of loyalty like they say they do. A lot of y'all right now today, y'all been profit lying for so long, it don't make no sense. And you wonder why you can't stay in a relationship long. It's because you can't even stand with Jesus long. Relationship going to have problems. Marriage is going to have problems. But if you are faithful and loyal to, to Jesus, Jesus going to fix that relationship. Jesus going to fix that marriage. It's because of your loyalty that you have with him. He promised you that he's going to fix that relationship. He promised you that he's going to fix that marriage because y'all two have a bond with each other. That means that y'all have loyalty. And God do not break his loyalty towards nobody. If you are loyal to God, God's going to be loyal to you. But right now, a lot of you right now today, you don't know what loyalty means. So how in the world that you're going to be down with me when you ain't down with Jesus? There's no way that you're going to be honest with me. If you can't be honest with God and be loyal to him, you can't be loyal to no friend. You can't be loyal to no co-worker. You can't be loyal to no husband, no wife, or nobody. Because your word is not bond at all. Point blank period. Why do you think God say he didn't turn his wrath? He didn't get mad at them because he already knew who they are. God said they had no loyalty. Why well, am I going to get mad at somebody who I know from the beginning was not loyal to me at all? He said, I'm overlooked. It's like a breeze does not come back to me. And we know what a breeze is. When you feel a breeze, that breeze is going to come all around your house. You're going to say, whoo, that feel good. But Jesus said, when he feel y'all breeze, it just go back. It is like a little swift. It is go by. It come and go. There's no return with your breeze because you have no loyalty to Jesus. And you know who you are. A lot of you right now today, you don't know that word Lord, loyal mean. You don't know what it means. Because if you can't be loyal to Jesus, 
the man who created the heaven and the earth, the man who breathed life inside of you, the man who give you your help and your strength, you can't be loyal to nobody. I'm being honest with you. You cannot be loyal to nobody if you cannot be loyal to Jesus. I'm talking about while you're in the pit, while you're in the while you're in that dark and ugly place. Right now I'm in a pit, but I'm still being loyal to Jesus. I haven't seen no breakthrough yet. I haven't seen no light yet, but I'm still loyal to Jesus. And I asked Jesus, I talked to him, I said, God, I want you to keep it real with me. I said, God, am I loyal to you? Because I know that I am. He said, Son, if you was not loyal to me, there's no way that I will allow you to preach my word. There's no way I will ever call you. There's no way I will ever consider you. There's no way I will ever chose you to preach my gospel, son, if you didn't have loyal. I knew that you was loyal from the day I knew you. I said, what do you mean, God? He said, before using your mother's womb, I knew that you was going to be loyal. He said, then when you was in your mother's womb, I still knew that you was going to be loyal. He said, because I had to set you apart from everybody from your family. Everything about you is loyal to me. Your praise is loyal to me. Your, your worship is loyal to me. When you seek me, it's loyal to me. The way how you talk is loyal. The way how you walk is loyal. The way that you preach is loyal because I set you apart for you to preach a different style from other preachers because of your loyalty that you have for me. I said, good God Almighty. I said, thank you for that, Jesus. He said, I knew you when using your mother's womb. That's what he said in Jeremiah 1 through 5. He said, when I knew you, he said, I created you. But he said, I had to set you apart. He said, I had to set you apart. He said, I already knew that you was going to be a minister. You didn't know you was going to be a minister. Your mother didn't know that. Your father didn't know that. Nobody in your family knew that. But I knew that because I created you and I knew that you was going to be loyal to me. I knew whenever it was that you was going to be in that dark and ugly place that you still going to be right there praising me. I knew when things were not adding up and making sense that I still can hear your voice say, I can't thank you. I just can't thank you. I just can't thank you. No, because when you were saying that, there's no more but loyalty that's coming from from your heart, son, so I knew who you was from the get-go. That's why I had to pull you apart. That's why I had to separate you from your family. It's because you was more loyal to me than anyone from your family, son. And God said, I can see a loyal person because I created you. When I created you, I knew who's going to be loyal, and I knew who's going to be lying from their mouth. He said, I knew that. Everybody's not loyal to me like they say they are. They can sit there and say they want this. They can sit there and say they want that. But I search the heart. I search for loyalty. I'm looking for some loyalty people right now today. How many loyal people am I talking to right now today? How many loyal people am I preaching to right now today? You can tell me all day long that you're loyal, but God knows if you're loyal or not. Let's go to 36. Let's read this again. But then they will flatter him with their mouth because God said a lot of people praise him with their mouth, but their heart is so far from him. That's what the word of God says, right? He said, lie to him with their tongues because your tongue is the sharp sword. Your tongue is your weapon and God knows who is lying and proper lying. God knows who's telling the truth and who is faking. Right now, it's a lot of fakes in the world. It's a lot of phonies in the world because you, you are not loyal to Jesus. Amen? Their hearts were not loyal to him. They were not faithful to his covenant. And God searches your heart every day, my brothers. God searches your heart every day, my sisters. You cannot play him. You can't go for two days or three months and say, oh, I'm loyal. The next thing you know, you start being fake. Either you are loyal or you're fake. You can't be uh, one minute that you're faithful and one minute that you're loyal. The next thing you know that you're being fake and you're lying, it's either one or the other. Either you're going to be loyal or you're fake. Which one it is? 
Right now, it's a lot of fake people out there. It's a lot of phony people out there. I'm calling you out. I'm saying what it, I'm, I'm calling what calling you out, and I'm saying what I'm saying right now today. God knows who you are. If you can't be loyal to, if you can't be loyal to Jesus, you can't be loyal to nobody. And I'm talking about some people right now today. The reason why you're going through what you're going through is because of your loyalty that you don't have with Jesus. Because if you have loyalty with Jesus, Jesus can turn your situation around right now today. There's nothing too hard for him. That's nothing too difficult for him. Because when you are loyal to Jesus, Jesus is going to show his loyalty back. When you are loyal to Jesus, Jesus will show his loyalty back to you without a question, without a doubt, without anything. And if you have not received your blessing or your breakthrough yet, get ready because it's on the way because Jesus already knows how loyal you are to him. And Jesus is going to look out for his loyal people. You better believe that. You can put your money on that. You can count on that. You can depend on that. It doesn't matter how many people have done you wrong, have walked under your life. As long as Jesus is for you, who can be against you? Because Jesus is loyal to the ones who seek him. Jesus is loyal to the one who praise him. Jesus is loyal to the one who worship him. Jesus is the one who loyal to him, who does not have a lying lip, who does not have a lying heart. Jesus will take care of you, who I'm talking to right now today. Who is this word for right now today? Because right now, God said he felt some of y'all breeze, but right now he didn't even take a notice of y'all breeze because y'all breeze was not even worth even feeling. He said your breeze just went past him. He didn't feel it. Why do you think he didn't get mad at you? Why would God get mad at you? Why would God pull his wrath on you when he know that you ain't loyal to him? He already know who you are. He said, I ain't about to waste my time on this line, man. I ain't about to waste my time on this lying woman right here. They ain't even worth two cents. I'm not going to sit there and get mad at him or her when they was not even loyal to me in the first place. That's why God has turned the deaf ear to a lot of y'all because you're not loyal to him. The only, the only reason why you're showing loyalty right now is because you want something. The only reason why you're showing loyalty right now is because you're in need of something right now from God. And you want God to help you out. And you're crying out to him right now. But God already don't, God already don't test your heart. He said, man, they ain't even loyal to me. But they asking me for something. They ain't even loyal to me. And they show crying out my name right now today. But knowing I know who God is. God going to still look out for you because that's who he is. I'm going to keep it real with you. Even though I know that you fake, even though I know that you phony, but I know my God. Even though that you are not loyal to him, he still somehow, some way is going to find a way to look out for you, even though he already know who you are. But I'm talking about the one that is loyal to Jesus, who have a strong connection, who have a commitment, who is dedicated, who trust him, who have a strong desire with Jesus. Jesus is always going to look out for you. It might not happen right now. And I know right now some of y'all, y'all been on the waiting list for a long time because I've been on the waiting list for a long time. But God said, continue to wait on me because I know your loyalty that you have towards me. And your loyalty that you have towards me, I promise you, I'm going to show my loyalty back because that's nothing too hard for me. That's nothing too difficult for me. When you cast all your burdens and your anxieties to me, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to take care of you. Whatever it is that you've been asking for, whatever it is that you've been praying for, I'm going to make sure that I'm going to bless you twice as much and give you double for your weight because of your loyalty. Because of your loyalty, my sisters. Because of your loyalty, my brothers. Loyalty go a long way. And everybody don't have that. That's why there's no such thing as so-called friends anymore. Because friends don't know how to be loyal no more. One minute they want to be your friend, next minute they want to talk bad about you. One minute they want to be your friend, next minute they stab you in the back. One minute they want to be your friend, next thing you know they in your house want to tell you business. They want to, they want to sleep with your man. They want to sleep with your woman. There's no law to in that. Even you go to work, you got to you gotta go to work and stay to yourself because there's not a lot of loyalty people at the workplace. There's not a lot of loyalty people in the church anymore like they used to have back 20, 30 years ago. I'm just keeping it real. And the reason why there's no loyalty in there because they, they, don't, they, not, they don't appreciate Jesus. 
If you don't appreciate Jesus and have loyalty for Jesus, you're not going to have loyalty and appreciate nobody else. If you don't have no loyalty for Jesus and you don't appreciate Jesus, you are not going to have loyalty or appreciate nobody else. And right now, a lot of y'all don't appreciate your husband. You don't even appreciate your wife because you don't even appreciate Jesus. You don't even appreciate their job because you don't appreciate Jesus. You don't even appreciate their, their house and their car God, God has blessed you with because you don't appreciate him. If you don't appreciate Jesus, they mean that you don't have no loyalty for Jesus. They mean that you don't have no desire for Jesus. You don't have no feelings for him. You don't have no commitment and you don't have no dedication. Jesus is looking at people who is committed and dedicated to him and only him. That's what loyalty is all about. And some of y'all, you don't know what loyalty mean. If somebody threw it in your face. You don't know what loyalty mean. If somebody even broke you down and described to you what is loyalty. You still don't know what it means. Because you got so much hate inside of you. So much jealousy inside of you. So much envy inside of you. So much competing inside of you. And when you got that, there's no way in the world that you can be you can be loyal to, the, to Jesus. And you know who you are. When you got hate, jealousy, envy, hatred, and you competing, there's no way that you can be loyal to the Jesus because Jesus don't have either one of those traits in his heart whatsoever. Minister LT don't have none of those traits in his heart whatsoever. Point blank period. Could you say that right now today? And I'm so thankful that God chose me. I'm so thankful that God even considered me. And when he told me, he said, son, that you are loyal, loyal to me. I know that you was loyal to me, God. And I said, God, I didn't, I didn't know. I said, all the stuff I used, I used to do, he said, son, I knew that you was going to stray away. I knew that. But the loyalty that I knew that, that you had in you, I knew that you was coming back home because the word of God say, my children know my voice. He said, my sheep. My sheep knew my voice, and I heard his voice. When I heard his voice, he said, that's how I knew that you was Lord. He said, when I showed you in a vision that you're going to be preaching my word, he said, for that moment, you ran. But he said, when I spoke to you again, you still heard my voice. You recognized my voice. He said, I didn't even yell at you. I didn't scream, but you recognized my voice. He said, that was loyalty right then and now. He said, when I gave you that phone and I showed you that I want you to preach right there on that YouTube channel, he said that you showed loyalty right there. He said that you showed loyalty even though you don't get a lot of views. That's loyalty. He said that you show loyalty when you don't get a lot of subscribers. That's loyalty. He said that you, you show loyalty when things not adding up and it's not even making sense that you didn't got your break yet, but you still right here showing them each and every day. He said that is loyalty, LT. I said, Jesus, I got to be loyal to you because you was loyal to me. I got to be loyal to you, Jesus, because when I was out there in the streets, God, it was you who was watching over me. It was you who was protecting me. I look back at my life right now today, God, and I say, man, I don't know how I made it. And God said, I was watching you, son, because when I knew who you was, I knew that you was going to be loyal to me. I knew that you were going to be loyal, loyal to my word. I knew that you are going to be loyal to, to my children by preaching the word of God, that you're going to preach the truth and nothing but the truth. That's why I called you. That's why I chose you. And that's why I consider you. It's because of your loyalty. Why you think that you're not with your family right now? Because I had to set you apart from them, LT. It's because of your loyalty. Why you think that you're not with your friends no more back home in Charlotte, North Carolina anymore? It's because of your loyalty, son. He said, why you think that you're going through what you're going through right now today? It's because of your loyalty, your hardship, your pain, and, and, and your suffering, your struggle. It's because of your loyalty. Loyal people go through pain. Loyal people go through struggle. Loyal people struggle. Loyal people go through hardship. It's because of your loyalty. And when you got loyalty like that, that means that you're connected to Jesus. And Jesus connected to you. And his words and his promise is connected to you because Jesus is divine. And you are the branches because of your loyalty, my brothers and my sisters, who I'm talking to right now today who I'm preaching to right now today is because of your Lord I'm Lord loyal to you Jesus and I'm always gonna be loyal to you Jesus and he said I know that he said that's why I'm always counting depend on you he said when I speak a word in your spirit are the men you're gonna preach the word 
You ain't looking for no big crowd. All you, all you know, as long as I'm with you, everything's okay. He said, that's loyal. That's commitment. That's dedication. That's hunger. That's thirst that you have for me, son. And he said, when you show that hunger and you show that, that thirst and you show that commitment, that dedication, you show that, and, you, and, 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 and um, I got that salt with you. He said, that is part of loyalty. He said, that's what I see. That's what I know. I knew that you had that before you before you start talking. I knew that you had that before you even start walking. I knew that you had that for your mother and your father even knew your name. I knew that you had that before you even came to this world. I knew that because I knew you, because I created you, and I knew that you was loyalty. So that's why I set you apart. Everything about you is real. Everything about you is genuine. Because of your loyalty that you have for me. And I promise you, I'm going to take care of you. I promise you, I'm going to help you. I promise you, I'm going to get you out of what you're going through right now today. It's because of your loyalty. And if you know that God is going to do it for you because you're loyalty to Jesus, give Jesus some praise right now. Give Jesus some glory right now. Shout out and worship his holy name right now. It's because of your loyalty, my brothers, my sisters, that you have with him. And everybody don't have that kind of loyalty like that. That's why they don't make real friends no more. That's why it's not real people in the church no more. That's why it's not real people in, in, in the workplace no more. Husbands, if you're loyal to Jesus, you're going to be loyal to your wife. Wives, if you're loyal to Jesus, you're going to be loyal to your husband. But if you're not loyal to Jesus, there's no way that you're going to be loyal to your husband or your wife. If you're loyal to Jesus, you're going to be loyal to that job. And it might not be the best paying job, but you're going to be loyal to it. If you're loyal to Jesus, you're going to be loyal to that friend. And you ain't going to tell that friend business. You're going to keep between you, that person, and God. You don't find that no more these days. So you tell some people certain things, the first thing they, get, the first thing they do is go tell everybody because they can't hold water. You don't find that these days. It's hard to find a loyal person. And when God knows that you're loyal, He's going to speak to you. When God knows that, he, that you're loyal, he's going to use you. If God is using you right now in this season, that means that he knows that you're loyal. Amen? Amen. And I hope that this word and this message today was helpful towards somebody today. And if it was, give Jesus the thanks, give Jesus the praise, give Jesus the glory right now in the house of the Lord. Amen? Amen. Can you please pray with me? Lord Jesus, I ask of you. They come into our life to guide us, direct us, use us. I believe right now today in the mighty name of Jesus. But I was praying that simple little prayer that God is already working everything God in our life. And if you ever want to get in contact with me or leave me a comment, my YouTube channel is withers.lt. Always keep him first place, always seek him, always honor him. Stay blessed. Amen.